fellow Gemini, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing and sticking around. This is a monthly love reading. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my Gemini playlist. And today's reading is going to focus on what's going on in your connection, how do they feel about you, what are their true intentions, and what's next for the connection. So let's get into this for Gemini. For Gemini spirit. What messages do you have for Gemini in regards to love? Messages for Gemini, please. Messages do you have for Gemini? For love for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini? For love. Okay, we got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. What messages do you have for Gemini? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So I feel like there's a disconnect and it's almost like you're coming together or you're, or having some sort of conversation here after a disconnect or after some sort of retreat. That's what I'm seeing so far. Bottom of the deck, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And then it is safe for you to love. Interesting. So it's almost like um, Gemini, either you or this person that you're dealing with, it's almost like you think the other person isn't interested or doesn't feel the same way, but Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love. Okay, so let's see. What's going on? What's going on in Gemini's love life? What's going on for Gemini's in love? Justice reverse, Libra energy. Going on for Gemini's and love. Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. Wow, Major Arcana is right off the bat. What's going on for Gemini's? Six of Wands. Can I get one more? Whoa, that's way too many. What's going on for Gemini's and love? Three of Wands reverse. So something hasn't felt fair and I almost feel like Gemini when it comes to love there's some sort of frustration over possibly a missed opportunity perhaps the timing has never been right when it comes to love or something to do with like things not really working out um, either you I'm going to clarify all of these but it's almost like you've been waiting for something forever some sort of recognition here with six of wands. I feel like if there is some sort of situation where you're not sure how another person feels about you, I feel like some sort of recognition is coming up or is happening or is going to happen. Time is fluid, so keep that in mind. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Capricorn, does not have to be. This devil reverse is interesting. Let me clarify these energies for love. Either you or this other person are getting out of something. Let me clarify these energies for Gemini. Justice reverse. Some, like, it's like love just hasn't worked out. Like something's just ha never gone in your favor. Tell me about justice reverse. Gemini, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Do not try to make this reading fit. If it's not for you, you'll know pretty soon if this is your reading or not. Why is justice reverse? Ten of Cups reverse, exactly. It's like unhappiness, disappointment, heartbreak. Um, some of you might be dealing with someone or you are in some sort of a separation from like a family situation or a long-term commitment. Why is justice reverse? Two of wands reverse. Four of swords reverse, ten of swords reverse. Wow, we have the ten of swords reverse and the ten of cups reverse. 
I feel like whatever this has been, it's like um, whatever has felt unfair, there was an ending here, some sort of separation. Someone retreated from this connection, you or them. And it was very heartbreaking. It felt like things weren't fair, weren't balanced. I feel like there's some something happening here where um, someone in this connection is making a decision. Maybe um, there has been little communication with the Four of Swords reverse and now someone's speaking up or there has been little action and someone is taking some sort of action here to the bottom of the deck yeah six of wands someone's going after something a decision has been made here what's this two of wands reverse about Eight of Cups. Someone could be um, walking away from a situation. Either you've decided to walk away from a situation or this person has. And I think that's connected to this Devil Reverse. Why is the Devil Reverse here for Gemini? Page of Wands Reverse. Why is this Devil Reverse? Five of Pentacles reverse. Why is the double reverse? I will tell you all what I see in a second. Why is the double reverse? Page of Cups. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we got the tower. This is going to be a big, like, unexpected blow up or shake up. The fact that someone's breaking free. This could be a message that you're not expecting here or apology that you're not expecting. Uh, with the Tower and the Page of Cups. But what I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands reversed, the minute I set down this card, it's almost like this wasn't this person's first time trying to break free of something. I feel like whoever is trying to break free of something, and I say whoever, Gemini, because you or your person could be here. This is what's going on in your connection. Um, whoever has been trying to break free of an unhealthy attachment, it wasn't the first time they've tried that. They've tried that, I feel, more than once. I don't think they've been successful, but I feel like they're coming, they're breaking free, they're walking away to make you some sort of an offer or to deliver some sort of message here. And for some reason, I think that that message is happening because of this tower or this tower is almost like telling you that this is an unexpected message. Why is the six of wands here? What's the Six of Wands about? Eight of Swords reverse, the Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy there. Another card about breaking free, Eight of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Seven of Swords reverse, wow. I feel like there's justice at the bottom. Libra energy again. Someone is, wow, seven of swords reverse, something coming to the light, someone being seen clearly, uh, someone being caught. Something happened in a long-term commitment, and I'm not sure if this is your long-term commitment or there's a third party situation here where one of you is in a commitment that's not doing well. I feel like that's the person that's walking away from a commitment. And I think they're walking away from a commitment. Um, and it's going to either surprise the other person or they've caught the other person doing something. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse here? Again, this could be you that is caught. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. Another ten. The third ten. This is leading to some sort of ending. Some sort of burden here is going to be dropped. There's some baggage here. It's like baggage in a commitment. A lot of burdens, obligations in a commitment. I feel like someone is breaking free of that. Because I feel like there's unhappiness here. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? 
Why is the three of wands reverse? Two of pentacles again with a choice. Someone I feel like has been waiting a long time because they haven't made a choice. They've been kind of juggling, going back and forth. Okay, maybe because of a lack of courage. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that possibly is just now ready to talk and tell the truth or has had some sort of clarity or realization here. The Knight of Swords is, um, I don't know, it's almost like this person either, there was very little communication between you once again with the Page of Swords reverse, or something wasn't said in the past, wasn't communicated. Um, and someone's been going back and forth about whether to approach and talk. And I feel like that's gonna happen here with the Knight of Swords. Wow, and there's the devil. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but you know what I'm starting to like? Wow, Six of Swords reverse, Five of Swords. Something happened between you and this person. Someone's been kind of like, someone's overcoming fear attached to something that happened to the past. So it's almost like there was a Five of Swords, some sort of conflict, deception, some sort of, the, it ended badly, whatever it was between you and this person. And I feel like um, now that it's like they want to return with the Six of Swords reversed, but there's like a devil in the way, like some sort of attachment in the way that they're breaking free from. I think they're going to talk to you about this, about the attachment, about the whatever unhealthy situation they were in. I feel like for some of you here, this is definitely a third party situation. So let's see, what are they secretly thinking or feeling about you? I'm gonna be using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini? Secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini. We got, I made a mistake. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini? Wow, we got I love you. So this person has a lot of feelings here. There's feelings here between you. And I say between you because I feel like there's something here where there is like mutual energies. I made a mistake. I love you. Bottom of the deck. I need more time. So let's see what we can get here. How are they feeling about Gemini or this connection? How are they feeling about Gemini or this connection, Spirit? How are they feeling about Gemini or this connection? The Moon Reverse, Emperor energy here. How are they feeling about Gemini or this connection? The Four of Swords reverse, the Moon reverse, Seven of Swords reverse, something's coming out. Nine of Cups reverse. Four of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person has had a change of heart and I think they're gonna do something about that with uh, the Emperor energy. I have Pisces, Aries here of significance, but more important than anything is energy here. And the Emperor is someone who takes charge of a situation regains control of a situation uh, stability they're also typically someone in authority um they like to do things right they like to um, they're very good at making decisions so let's see what all this is about tell me about the moon reverse what's coming to light here for gemini what's this moon reverse five of cups something about regret over the past there's something about the past here why is the moon reverse the Fool, wow. New beginning, a leap of faith. Tell me about the Moon Reverse. The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. I feel like this is someone that retreated or withdrew and is wanting to come back and try again with the Fool. And there's the Four of Swords Reverse again. This is someone who has already done enough thinking here and is now ready to get up and move, take action. They were possibly just thinking, withdrawn, not communicating, or just like doing things solo. 
um, I feel like there was a disconnect between you here. I have the it's time to disconnect card with retreat. So there's like someone retreated from this connection or maybe you both did. But now it's coming to the light that someone has had regret over what happened. And it's like they're taking a risk now. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Gemini? the emperor here four of wands see this is about stability harmony this person hmm tell me about the emperor queen up uh oh what just as i was thinking about the queen of swords here comes the high priestess and the wheel of fortune wow this is crazy energy here, guys. The High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. There is something that this person didn't get a chance to communicate or kept hidden from you. With the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords reverse, it's almost like there's something that's been a mystery or a secret or um, hidden. Something has been hidden. And here comes the wheel. It's like this emperor is waiting for an opportunity to turn things around with the wheel and the fool. This is something completely new. What's this four of wands about? Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Justice. This is about making things right. Yes, stability. This is about making things, restoring balance, having domestic bliss, peace, harmony, making things right. So why is the seven, not seven, nine of cups reversed here? Why is this nine of cups reversed here? I keep saying, seeing the eight of cups. Why is the nine of cups reversed? This person feels like they their wish hasn't been granted. Like they've had to compromise a lot on their own emotional fulfillment. Wow, six of cups. This is about the past. Something happened between you and I feel like this person hasn't been able to get over it. Tell me about the nine of cups reverse. Their wish wasn't granted with the past or with a soulmate. Yeah, six of pentacles reverse. Tell me about the nine of cups reverse. Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. This is about recovery. Coming back in out of the cold. And bottom of the deck, I have judgment. Exactly. Recovery for a second chance for a rebirth. Some sort of awakening that someone's having about wanting to come back in. Someone wants a second chance, a do-over with the past is what I'm seeing here. Or at least they just want peace with the past. It's like... I don't know. It's almost like this person feels like maybe it's too late for them to get their wish granted or something like that. Maybe they traded you for something else and it blew up in their face. It wasn't the grass wasn't greener on the other side um, or their happiness or, you know, it's like whatever wish fulfillment they thought they were getting. It came with a huge compromise. I'm also picking up. It's like this person had a wish with the past, but it never like it, it never materialized. And now it's like someone wants to restore balance here. They could even think that at this point you don't feel the same way about them. And that's where that unrequited love card, you know, is, is kind of showing up there at the bottom. So what are their true intentions towards Gemini? What are their true intentions, Spirit? What is this person's true intentions towards Gemini? Wolf. Wow. This is like, they're coming in with like courage. Very, um, almost like a stubborn determination is what I'm picking up. What are their true intentions towards Gemini? Dolphin, yeah. 
there's like a karma kar, karmic situation or something it's it's almost like um you've changed this person's life um and maybe they're just now realizing the the depth of this connection um that judgment card i feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with this is a, a wake-up call that has to do with you specifically not just like the mistakes they've made but it's almost like they've realized something about you gemini and now they want to reveal their innermost selves to you so what's next for this connection what's next for this connection i'm going to pick a few cards here and then we'll clarify the what's next in the extended we'll also look at their next actions and what are the challenges or the blockages to this connection and any advice from spirit so let's see what's next for this connection between gemini and this other person three of pentacles reverse six of wands reverse what's next for this connection That's way too many. What's next for this connection? Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's fear. What's this? Nine of Cups. Someone I feel like is fearing that things are going to happen this exact same way it happened the first time and they're not going to get their wish. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. This King of Wands is that wolf. This is someone that's not afraid to go after what they want. Someone that's feeling very passionate, very motivated. Um, I think they really are, I feel like there's there's an impediment here, an obstacle here to success that your person's scared of, but I don't pick, it's, it's like I'm not picking up that this person, it's like whatever obstacle there is, they're more than willing to deal with it and handle it. With the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Wolf here, um, these are leaders, natural born leaders, um, dominant energies, these are people that get things done. But I feel like there's some sort of fear here that someone's not going to have success because there was already an uns unsuccessful attempt before or something that didn't work out before. Three of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are dealing with some sort of third party or there's like an obstacle here, an interference here that has someone a little bit scared, a little bit anxious. And that's probably why they need more time because there's something here that still needs to be wrapped up. So if this resonated for you, Gemini, please leave me a comment down below. Tell me how it resonated for you. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate everyone who has already done that. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.